What do you think more people don't know about Bob Marley accepting Jesus? There's a few reasons. Number one, it doesn't fit with the family's brand and it doesn't sell his mm. catalog. He never recorded anything new. Mm -hmm. He was sick. He was dying of cancer. He went to this, you know, faraway place. I think it was in Germany or Austria trying this holistic thing. It didn't work. And they basically gave up. And at that point, about seven months before he died, supposedly cried for like two hours weeping, mm -hmm. weeping in tears of repentance. Mm -hmm. But he never used his voice from that moment on mm. to set things straight. So a lot of people see it as a deathbed conversion, mm. which I think is valid. Mm -hmm. But they say, oh yeah, well, look at his catalog and and he's singing about all these other things. But he also said, I'll never forget no way how they crucified Jesus Christ. He also said, don't you know that the wages of sin is death, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, the, yeah that definitely changes the, the narrative if the guy of Rastafarianism actually repented and became a Christian. Yeah, and the guy. <laughs>
and the procession of the Holy Spirit. Yes, yeah, but those are the three minor are things. Minor, uh, so you're well, an Orthodox call, Christian church. Right. They will call them today that uh, they are minor, you know, things. Uh, but uh, before, they were considered oh, important. Yes, yes, man. You those know, they were the things that people had been fighting from church to <laughs> church. Yes, 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 yes. That's what it is. Yes. So now, with the Roman Catholic Church, we have also consultation program Welcome again to Profile. We're speaking to Archbishop Yisak, who is responsible for the Ethiopian Orthodox Churches in the Western Hemisphere. Archbishop, your church would be opposed to concubinage, a man just living with a woman without marriage. A lot of Rastafarians love that practice. Well, what about Rastafarians who are members of your church? What the, if they engage? The church does not, that does not agree with such uh, life because uh, the church believes in uh, marriage, one man and one woman, as it is uh, from the beginning. Not one man with seven women, like some rest of Not some, so. that is a Muslim tradition. Muslim. So, <laughs> yeah, that's not a Christian tradition, so we do not practice that. Member at all. He was a most delinquent member when, 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 when it came to sexual matters. Well, uh, Bob Marley Why was... Why were you afraid to display him because he was a celebrity? You, no, 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 no. Bob Marley was uh, a man that uh, he was coming along to learn uh, so much about the principle of the church. Because I told him how His Majesty lived with one woman, with one wife. He only you had told him one that. queen. Yes, and he believed. Some other people advised him that he is the grandson uh, of David and Solomon, and <laughs> Solomon and David had many wives and all that. But I told him, no, that's wrong. Just follow His Majesty. So he said, yes, Abba, I will follow His Majesty. And he was really coming to realize yes. that. Yes. I love Bob Marley because his music really brought me very close. To God and his music made me believe that there is a God when I researched Bob Marley more and more I realized that this man actually believed in Jesus Christ like towards the end of his life he gave his life to Christ and he believed at the end that Christ was the true Messiah and the true one the Lord of Lord the God of gods and that Jesus Christ was the one the true God so much so that he was baptized, he was given a new name. He shed his Rastafarianism and came to Christ basically. That was a huge turning point in my journey when it came to God. I know it may sound petty, but I thought if Bob Marley can believe in Jesus Christ, man, there's, there, there has to be something to this. Because the man was deeply spiritual and his music really moved me. And so I started to investigate myself. I opened up that Bible and I started reading it myself. And I started searching for Jesus Christ myself, as did Bob. And I found him. I found Jesus Christ. I credit Bob Marley with having brought me to Christ. A lot of his fans will argue, nope, he was a Rastafarian, a strict Rastafarian. He did not believe in Jesus Christ. He did not believe in that type of God. We believe in Jah. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to tell you, you know, the things I've been researching about Bob Marley and what I believe him to be. And I believe that Bob Marley died in Christ and is certainly in heaven right now. And because of his story, because of how deeply moved I am by his music, it was a huge role in why I came to Christ. Huge role. I loved Bob so much and his music so much that I thought if Bob Marley could declare that Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords and God of Gods, there is something here. There has to be something here. And I have to investigate it for myself. And I did. And it's the truth. Truly, Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and of God of God. One of his last dying words were jesus please take me when he was in excruciating pain on his deathbed you know that's another thing that you can google and search it wasn't hail zalasi please take me it was jesus please take me that shows where his heart was that shows with whom his heart was with doing this bob marley review and series has also taught me and opened my eyes that we humans really worship celebrities too much if you read Rita's 
she wrote a memoir in 2004 it came out called no woman no cry and she talked extensively about her life with bob marley she painted bob marley in a way in which most of his fans most of you people would not like bob marley is not a squeaky clean person the only person that is squeaky clean that has ever walked to this earth is jesus christ if you're going to put your faith and your hope and your trust in someone you better put it in jesus christ because that is the only person that has ever walked to this earth that has not sinned that has not disappointed anyone that has no scandal that's the only man that has walked this earth that has ever done that that's the only man that was hung on a cross died resurrected and came back to earth and is now seated at the right hand side of god who's the only man that died and came back to life so if you want to spend your life rooting for bob marley's legacy rooting for beyonce's legacy rooting for whoever's legacy whoever whichever people you worship in this world but with human beings you have to leave room for error yes he left amazing music that we get to listen to amazing music that transcends generations amazing music that leads us to god and i believe that is the best part about bob marley's legacy his music screams god his music screams come closer to god that's what it screams and i believe that's what all of our legacies should be we should all work our work on earth should all show god and how we're trying to move closer to god and our like this video should make you question or think about your relationship with god like i hope my work here makes you think about god and your relationship with god and not just go off and think about other nonsensical things that don't matter i honestly want you to think about god i want my work to represent god and i believe that's what bob marley's music represented it represented god it is so beautiful and a yearning to get closer to god a thirst a hunger to move closer to god but i'm also one of those bob marley fans that is not in a cult you know i'm not going to look at him like he's my god he's my idol he's my everything and everything he did was perfect no i'm going to look at the facts i'm going to be open to new information i'm going to look at his past and see some of the things that he has done or has been alleged to do and will say okay this guy was not a perfect human being but at the end of the day i can respect his music as a musician this guy was just really good so i'm not here to debate or ruffle the feathers of people from different religions rastafarian or people who believe it even bob marley was a different religion what i'm here to say is that bob marley died in christ he was baptized into the ethiopian orthodox church which is the oldest christianity hail salasi also believed in the ethiopian orthodox church and basically it has been it's not been made what it's not been made mainstream for a reason jesus christ is a threat and the devil is working so hard to separate people from god from the true god there's so many counterfeit gods with a small g the true god is jesus christ and if people a whole lot of people knew that bob marley gave his life to jesus christ before he died and gave up rastafarianism his legacy would take a huge blow a huge blow and we all know how much money his legacy is still bringing in today so it's easier and more profitable to continue with the narrative that bob marley was a rastafarian until he died but i believe that i will see bob nesta marley in heaven robert when i get there and thank him you know for his beautiful music that brought me closer to god and made me really think about this relationship with jesus christ so let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this please keep it respectful until the next video goodbye